Hello guys today i am with a very nice topic which you will enjoy a lot it is very important for plant growth that is types of soil you may think that does even soil has types yes of course even soil has types there are various types of soil in those today i am going through four major types of soil those are loamy soil sandy soil silt soil and clay soil let us know about all four types of soils detailedly Firstly let us go through sandy soil sandy soil is dry warm and light and also tend to be acidic and low in nutrients sandy soils are known as light soils due to their proportion of sand and little clay some of the examples of sandy soil are carrot potato corn radish and tomato The pros of sandy soil is it warms quickly in winter and the cons is it dries out quickly in summer it has less nutrients and often acidic This is an example of sandy soil Next type of soil that we are going through is loamy soil Loamy soil is a mixture of soil that is an ideal for plant growing medium This type of soil is the best for many crops. Loamy soil is actually a combination of soil. By weight, its proportion of soil is about forty percent sand, forty percent silt, and twenty percent clay. Some examples of loamy soil are wheat, sugarcane, cotton, oil seed, and cucumber. The pros of loamy soil are it has more humus, it holds moisture and nutrients. it has better drainage and it has better habitat for beneficial microorganisms and the cons is density of clay is the cause of the drawback this is an example of loamy soil the third type of soil that we are going through is clay soil clay soil is defined as soil that is comprised of very fine particles of minerals and not much organic matter The resulting soil is quite sticky since there is not much space between the mineral particles and it does not drain well. Some examples of clay soil are broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage and Brussels sprout. The pros of clay soil is it retains moisture well and it is more nutrient rich than other soils. And the cons is slow drainage and it compacts easily making it difficult for plant roots to grow and tendency to be alkaline in the last pH. type of soil that we are going through is silt soil silt soil is more fertile than sandy soil it has a greater tendency than other types some examples of silt soil are rose iris and weeping willows the pros of silt soil are It is fertile soil that hold on to nutrients better than sandy soils. It has better water holding capacity and is easier to work with than clay soil. And the cons is water filtration can be poor. It has a greater tendency to form crust and it can become compact and hard. This is how the types of soil looks. We can also differentiate the types by seeing its color. So far we have learned about the types of soil now let us learn the layers of soil soil is made up of distinct layers called horizons there are four major horizons and one more horizon as the organic matter the first horizon is known as the o horizon that is organic matter this horizon will not be present everywhere the next layer of soil is called a horizon that is top soil which contains minerals with a bit organic matter the next layer of soil which is called the b horizon is referred to as the subsoil and consists of mineral layers the next layer of soil which is called the c horizon consists of partially weathered parent materials the last layer of soil which is the bedrock is hard solid rock beneath the surface materials such as soil and gravel this is how the layers of soil looks we can see only the top soil which we walk on 
Next is the subsoil. The roots of plants penetrate till this layer. And then comes the weathered rock fragments. And the last that is bedrock. The layers of soil is formed by the weathering of rocks. Weathering of rocks will be discussed in my next video. Please like and share my video and do subscribe my channel. My upcoming videos will be updated soon. Till then, bye bye.